Okay, so I remember I did hit this lever. Okay, so we need to uh, show the two characters three of their mirrors to get the best ending. So, and yeah, they're good endings if you do only a few. Uh, but, yeah, we're not going to do those. We're going to get the best ending possible. And we're going to get some extra dialogue, so that'd be kind of cool. Uh, I hope I don't screw it up, because it did say you're not allowed to talk to the characters in between showing them the mirrors or something, but either way, it's fine. Uh, I think we're good. Because uh, I only talked to the her, but I didn't... Uh, I, think, I think it'll be okay. Uh, but yeah, we hit that lever, and then we go to the Room of Greenery. There's a bronze door on the top right of the main area in the greenery. Uh, there we, here we go. Sick. What is that? Oh. You need to pull the lever in the realm of beauty to lower the iron bars in the way, which we've already done in the playthrough, so... Okay. Interesting. Oh yeah, apparently I uh, got an optional mirror in that room with the um, that we were just at the uh, the one with the invisible body on the floor with the sword it shows uh, Yuzu's reflection it does seem to change hmm all right let's let's get her that's that's cool they do certain different stuff when your characters following you all right let's find her story the mirror shows a zoo's reflection Probably saying her name wrong. You're right, it is me. I'm getting nervous all of a sudden. But these are my memories, I need to remember them. She's saying stare. That's weird. Curious to see how these will improve our ending, like knowing about their experiences will help. Well, oh, maybe their experiences will teach us a lesson. And maybe she'll smile for once. During break time, I sat in the seat inside. Thirteen-year-olds have been uh, audacious, and they have had troubles in an eternal conflict. Well, she's cool design. Huh? Uh, uh, what? The day duty diary. It's your turn today. So the teacher. Ah, oh, that's right. Thank you very much. Well, that's all. Once again, we couldn't keep, we couldn't keep talking, though I longed to talk with her more. I was captivated by Atsuru. She was so unlike the other students, a girl with few words, with a mysterious air, long eyelashes, always looking tired, and her skin and hair were white as snow. It was apparently a kind of uh, albinoism. At first, I thought I just wanted to be her friend and quickly realized it wasn't that. Even if it was but puppy love, I was certainly in love with her. It is strange, isn't it? But I was troubled. I loved her, but at the same time, I hesitated at the idea of loving a girl. And I at least wanted to be more friendly with her. If not as a lover, then as a good friend. Hmm. Okay, so... Uh so those of you who might be looking at this going, oh, I want to know where all the mirrors are. We saw the other guy's mirror in what? Part three, I believe. I remembered something. Those are my memories from age 13. You saw that too, right? I'm embarrassed. <laughs> she would be like, I don't care. For once your uh, pithy saves me. Won't you break the mirror? Break it? Why? Sure, I want everyone to see, but I need to be with them to look inside. So it's probably fine not to break it. Anyway, thanks. Because of you, I finally remembered something about myself. Now let's return. Tell me if anything else comes up. Alright, so we're not going to talk to her. Hopefully it doesn't screw anything up. Uh, but yeah, his mirror, if you recall... Oh, I have to do this. Alright, well, we'll do file one. Um... She, not she, the guy had this, it was implied that he's starting to like young children.
but we it was kind of a little unclear but you can kind of in a way it wasn't unclear but we just need to see, learn more uh, so we're gonna find her second mirror we're gonna go one character at a time okay so we were here before and in order to it says uh, you need to learn how to um, strengthen your lantern to be in here and I remember this place being a confusing mess uh, oh weaken the lantern to find directions wait what obviously I'm looking at the guide what find it what it says weaken the lantern to find directions Was there an arrow? Anyway, uh, top left stairs on right side. And then bottom left stairs on left side. And there we go. All right, let's just do it all and follow one because I'll have to redo this in case this doesn't work. Uh, whoops. I want to strengthen the lantern, actually. Or it doesn't matter. Okay. Hey, look. One of my mirrors. Two in such a short time. Okay. Okay kind of on the nose that this would be in the realm of love although that's where oh yeah that's where that dude's first mirror was too so it also makes sense there too all right so what's the new jump scare uh what was it again all right top left stairs on right side and then bottom left stairs on the left side just making sure i don't know what they mean by weaken the lantern i guess the person messed up I think I'm getting used to this now. This mirror's got my past, my memories. I'm thinking surely they show memories with something to do with my wish. If looking in the mirror might tell me my wish, I'm excited, but I'm a little scared at the same time. Huh. That's such cool art. Pretty sunset, huh? Sunset is a witching hour. This moment's beauty comes from it being when the sun dies. Even though we see the sun for 12 hours a day, we always forget its beauty. <laughs> I guess. It's like the sun in a day, too. But I like the sun in the day, too. You're positive about everything, aren't you? It's been a year getting to know uh, Atsuru. I still haven't been able to tell her how I feel. But we're together as best friends a bunch. Of course, I still like her romantically. But just spending time with her together, period, is nice. Oh, I thought she was going to say Twilight's so awesome. Twilight is a uh, vacacious thing. It's neither day nor night. And people spend it preparing for the coming night. Twilight isn't watched and enjoyed. It is just empty and hollow. Much like the moot. And now, much like my name. Is the sunset making you sentimental? I think Azura is a great name. Great name? I hate it. To be called hollow? It feels more like denial of my existence. But I like how it makes uh, it feels all translucent. It matches your mysterious air, too. Is that right? You know, I'm a person who shouldn't exist in this world. What's this now? Just the fact I'm alive is a mistake. My existence is a cluster of sin. You mean like original sin? Did you ever uh, did you ever tell me you're a Christian? I don't mean anything like that. In a more concrete way, I shouldn't exist. I don't get what you're saying. I mean, isn't shouldn't exist really extreme? We all get along so well. If you didn't exist, what would I do? If... Hypothetically, I were to die soon, then you should forget about me. I can only blankly listen to her. 
her words, uh, whose words felt so disconnected from reality. It was as if Itsuro saw something different, and I couldn't perceive things the same way. Does she actually not exist? Huh. Requires more research. She's a strange girl, though in a charming in a way. Everyone's getting their important memories back. I still can't remember uh, to my uh, I still can't remember to my death up to my death seems I remember some things oh did she jump into the lake for her and died Ooh, mystery key I picked it up early I don't know how to use it though it'd be useful somewhere maybe maybe this is for her third mirror huh let's see Alright guys, so I, I my prediction might have been on the nose because we're in the realm of death and in order to get her third mirror we need to basically complete the game before going to the ending and have her mystery key. So it says go down to the fireplace where you got the matches. Uh, yes. Uh, oh, I see. It says uh, entering the door beyond will, will lead to ending two. If you want ending one, Take Rotaro to all of his mirrors as well. Okay, so basically don't end the game until all three are done, basically. Oh, look at this room. Very, uh, like these doors remind me of the Velvet Room a little bit. Look at this shit. Yeah, what's funny is that the bears, it kind of makes sense. The bears were placed, not here, but in other places. Uh words signal you to like there is a um there is a uh what's it called a lever nearby him the mirror shows azu's reflection doesn't seem to change okay yeah we have to go get her this makes three feels like the finale not yet so one thing I want to bring up is that uh, I, when I do Let's Plays, I try to get the best ending and end the playthrough off that way. Wrong door. Uh, so if you guys want to see all the endings, uh, Manly Badass Hero has a really good video. I haven't watched it, obviously, but he did all endings uh, video and like one with no commentary and stuff like that. So he's more of a completionist kind of guy. I like ending my playthroughs with the best ending if possible. With RPG Maker games, it's kind of easy to look at all the endings, but for this, I don't really have the time, and I want to start another playthrough that you guys are probably going to enjoy. So, so yeah, I'm going to watch the other video after I'm done with this and react to the best ending, which is probably going to be awesome. All right, so let's see. My prediction is that she, she went into the lake, her friend, and she went to save her, and that's how she died. Like, in her arms or something. I'm all worked up. So going through that door pretty much has you get ending two. I don't know if you have to read all, redo all of this after you get that ending. That's what I'm thinking. So she's thinking about what she said. Hypothetically, if I were to die soon, then you should forget about me. A few days ago, the body of... Oh, was found in... Her body was found in Mirror Lake. Why? Why did you do it? Why did she do it? No, it wasn't enough. We didn't spend enough time together. Oh, did she kill herself? Has Saki seemed gloomier lately? I mean, she got along with uh, Hinohara. So I can understand being depressed, but it's not, it's not the kind of glo uh, it's not that kind of gloominess. It's like the local library isn't enough. We don't have books on this stuff. I need seances, necromancy. It all lacks credibility. I don't want this fake occult nonsense. What? Azu, have you been going to class? If I open the, the gate this way. Today marks the year of that day. Wait for me. I've been studying up this past year. 
Oh, to visit her in the dead? Well, I remember it all. How I died, my wish, and everything else. Of course, there's no such thing as black magic. I must have been... I must have been on the brink, huh? Huh. <sighs> kind of exhausted getting all those memories dumped on me. Once I sorted things... Uh, once I sorted things out some more, I'll tell you my history and wish. Oh, are you going to go up ahead. Take me with you if you do. I feel like there's something very important to this world up ahead. Hmm. There is a save point here, though. So maybe it's cool. Maybe I will do all the endings. Alright, let's do it. I thought maybe the game might lock me in and I have to redo it, but I don't think the game's going to be like that. Okay, yeah, because I thought maybe we'd... Ooh. Someone's there. You're... Once there was a painter. He was known as a mad genius. Rinzu... Rinzu... You know my grandpa. Wait, monsieur, it looks like maybe she isn't aware of us. Renzu had a wife, and he also had a relationship with a servant. With his wife, he had a child, Shinji. With the servant, he had a child. Oh, shit. Renzu's two children, born with two, uh, born of different mothers. This is weird. Tameki was the illegitimate child of an affair, but because Shinji showed no interest in art, Shinji's affection was often directed at Tameki, who did have an interest in the arts. Tameki learned art from Rinzu, and given deep love, grew in the shadow of the Izu family. But these irregular days couldn't last. Tameki turned up. She's just telling her life story to the wall. This is weird. Renzu's wife learned of her existence. Renzu's divorced his wife. It's a lot to take in. But gave Tamaki and her mother the same love as ever. Thus far, no tragedy had occurred. When, T when Tamaki turned 18, Renzu made an unforgivable mistake. Uh oh. He had a li 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 liaison with Tameki and her his own daughter, and impregnated her. What? Was she saying she should wait? Was she saying she wasn't exist because she was an accident or something? Anyway, Mike was deeply wounded, and feared Renzu, and with her mother, she fled from him. But the child she bore had done no wrong. So she decided to birth the child of her father. Damn. A daughter between parent and child? Tameki thought she couldn't live a normal, happy life, but luckily, two years later, she had a proper marriage, safely having a son with her husband. Tameki began to get back on her feet. However, she never fully did. The mental wounds Tamaki had suffered went even deeper than she imagined. When her now grown daughter with Renzo began starting doing art at school, Tamaki's old wounds ached. It gave her flashbacks of Renzo, of that f fear she had of him. Tamaki st struggled to give her daughter affection. It took all she had not to take out negative emotions on her. Maki's mind quickly crumbled under the weight. One day, Maki killed her daughter. Oh! 
Kamaki fell to pieces. She came to feel animosity, not only towards Renzu, but all the... Ugh, these were these names. Unable to see any hope ahead, she fell upon the despair behind. Renzu died of natural causes a few years later, and when she had the right to his inheritance, she refused to take it. She would even let it go to the eldest son, Shinji. Then at last, Tamaki, who had kept living despite having broken long ago, met her end. When she learned the son she had with her husband has become friends with Shinji's daughter, You mean... Tamaki tried to take out Shinji's daughter. And it was he who dared come near her pure son. But when she drove madly down the road to kill her, she ran over her own son by mistake. Tamaki realized that this was the end. So she took her own life to escape the despair. Wow! That's so messed up. The woman's soul is now bound here, unlike other souls. The world is... F oh, this whole time I thought she was talking to the wall, but no, this is just a voice. The world is forcing her to be here. Damn. No wonder she looks like shit. Tamaki's soul is now bound to in death, so that she can't escape and must face the facts. This was surely my punishment. I've gone on for a while. I can't see or hear you, but I know you're there. Or she has been talking. I don't know who you are, but go now. Let's go. We shouldn't stay here any longer. What? Oh, I see. Oh, I see. Should we return to the usual place? With Tamaki's story, I realized something. Oh, I see what they say. So knowing that, now when we go to the real ending, okay, then we're that's why they say we're locked into ending two. All right, so this is ending two, and we'll just reload the save. All right, guys. So I screwed up. I'm supposed to talk to her, I believe. Yeah, there we go. All right, let's get started. Okay, I went into the door right uh, right past her, which I got ending four again. First, I think you can open this big door here. You open a similar... Who's that? <laughs> Who's that? Anyway, uh, I bet you can open this one too if you try. Who's that? Who is this? Oh. Why? Ah. Uh. This works just fine. You listen to this too. I'm a zoo and a middle schooler who committed suicide at 15 at Mirror, Mirror Lake. The reason I killed myself was to put it blankly to meet a girl I loved. Someone had killed her at Mirror Lake. It made me extremely sad. So I read all these books about black magic and killed myself to go in the afterlife. To die in the same place exactly a year later. It said it would work. Is, are you okay? doesn't really matter now. I think it's a uh, different afterlife than what the book meant, but ultimately I came to this world. It seems there was something to be gained here. That girl, she always said there was someone who should, shouldn't have existed. I always found it weird and I wonder why it was. But I've found out now. She was born between a girl and her own father. Very that her very birth was taboo. Isn't that right? Yep. Knew it. Can she not talk like she wants to? 
She doesn't need to, I know. Because I've always known Zuru. Well, the animations are cool. Because of you, I can get my memories back and my wish. I learned about Zuru's birth and death. My wish was to meet Zuru one more time. And it happened. Your body. I've done what I need to do in this world, so I'm satisfied. Feels like it's taken so long, but Azura was here before I was. I don't know what kind of wish you had, but considering your birth and death, I'm sure it was not simple enough. I hope it comes true, but I'm glad that it, even if you're like that now, you can still recognize me. Sorry for digging into your past. Huh. She's been here for much longer than us and finally got her wish granted. Must be satisfied, I guess. Wait! Sir, was it she? A soul like us, I wonder. I get the feeling that she was a close connection to this world. Maybe the answer is behind this door. Yeah, behind this door. Not chasing after her. Okay. Yeah, okay, he came in with me. That's weird. Huh? Right, we're gonna get the same dialogue as before. But what's different? Of course, I'm skipping it because we already read it before, but I'm just double-checking to make sure that we didn't miss anything different. Also, I don't want to spam it. Oh, was it the girl? Huh. She wanders this world even now. Seems seeing a zoo elicited, uh, excited some change, but still, a long way off from regaining her memories. Zuhara. Sister. Several years later, a girl threw herself into a lake. Amazingly, she had the same wish as the world's creator. Huh. Right. So what's it going to give me now? gonna happen you do remember sister huh yeah she does look like her okay don't know what I should do I've overcome a lot of obstacles coming here I've looked back on my past and erased it is it really right to just make it so I never existed thinking back it was a boring life I wouldn't say it was extremely devoid of enjoyment but if you asked whether I'd live the same life again, I'd absolutely refuse without a doubt. In fact, if I had to say, I've come to hate it all. I wish my life had never even existed. But seeing Azu and Azuru, I had a thought. If her life had never existed, what would become of Azu's feelings? Desperately turning, in to bl turning to black magic, killing herself and wandering this world for years? All to finally realize her wish to meet her again. What would become of that? Yeah, there it is. I won't do it. I can't. I can't do it anymore. For every mirror I broke, I'll vanish from the lives from the people I knew. And I'll also vanish from Ayato's world. If I did... And then, what did Ayato die for? What did Tamaki step into the accelerator for? What if it were me, then fine, but to control the feelings of the people around me, I have no right. That's not my wish anymore. Yes, I'm sure. It won't change anything. Are you still giving up your wish? I am. I see. I, the mirror world, accept abandoning 
the wish, its reason for being ends here. The world can vanish when the ruler's wish is granted, or they abandoned it with clear intent. It won't be left up in the air like it had been. So will everyone here vanish? Except for you. Oh. To get straight to the point, you're not dead yet. Really? Oh. Your soul had left your body, of course, but your body isn't actually dead. You drowned yourself as it happens. A passerby found you. They called it right away. Though you're unconscious, you were saved. But it was a failed attempt. When your soul leaves here, you'll be forced back into your body. Oh man, it is purgatory. But you've come, uh, but you've done in this world won't be written off. The memories you've uh, erased by breaking the mirrors won't come back to you when you return to your life. You didn't actually carry out your wish, so the actual past isn't gone, but your memories of it are. Maybe you'll remember talking with me a bit, and things like meeting me at the lake. Are you still prepared to leave this place? Can you live a world you've given up on living in once before? I'll live. Because I'm not dead yet. I don't want to just throw away the life you protected. And by disc discarding the wish I inherited from her, I think I'll honor its feelings. So I'm going to move on with my life. I absolutely can't understand my sister's wish, but you've made the choice for her. It may sound sort of thrite, but I want you to live my sister's share. I want, I want you to prove that giving up that wish was the right thing to do. Don't worry about me. I want my, uh, I want my life to have never existed. Whatever the reason for it, it is not a happy wish. Hmm. Gonna retire ahead of you. I'm sure you'll go there. Seven years is it it ends like this. As long as the ruler is satisfied, I'm supposed. Will your roots still go to heaven too? Uh not sure. To be free from this world. Uh, that's good, I guess. I say ruler, but you're more of an upser, technically. I'm a little scared about how much I'll forget, but I won't lose my time in this world. I won't ever wish to erase the events to come. It's time to go. Hmm. After that, I regained consciousness in a hospital bed. Apparently, I really have been saved, and my soul returned safely from the mirror world. There was a woman I didn't know besides me. Sure, you're awake. Who are you? My brain has suffered memory loss and I could not remember any past events. I couldn't remember my uh, supposed mother at all, although I had left a faint unease towards my brother, as well as a desperate expression made by the woman I woke up besides when she heard that. I remember Ayato was someone important to me and I had no concrete memories of him. But I distinctly remember taking, talking to the mirror world, and it felt considerably warmth. Felt considerable warmth from that alone. I clearly remember Yutsu and Rotaro too. I probably only met them in the mirror world. Is that bridge again? Shiro, isn't it? Hello, I'm Shichiki Hinohara. A few days later, I left the hospital. A man came to visit me. His last name sounded familiar. Could you be Ayato's? Yes, thank you for getting along with Ayato. Shinji Ohara is Ayato's. Okay. Which meant he was the one who married Tamaki, and he was the father who Yurasu grew up with. Don't worry too much about your mother. When the woman calling herself my mother learned I had no memory of her, she vanished. I liked any real sense of her being my mother and it meant relatively little to me. It'd be a long story, but I had a wife and two children. But now none of them are left. They've all passed away. And you're alone again. 
Do you know where you're going to live now? No. Paying tuition seems impossible, so I think I'll have to drop out and work. I see. Would you let me adopt you? We're both tired souls who've lost everything. You've got along with Iato, so we're not total strangers? But you remind me of my daughter a bit. But maybe it's just wishful thinking. Won't you give it some thought? Weird. That's a weird turn of events. Also, this ending keeps going. So I began a new life as Mishiro Inohara. I'm taking new steps in the same house where Ayato and Yusuro once lived. It was a strange kind of chance, but he was a very gentle person. He's taking up art again, and he has been teaching me between studies, dreaming of seeing the world the way Ayato did, check, catching up on days I've lost. Once more, I'll let my brush run free. Oh, they're going to give me credits. It's very... Uh, the story is not all over the place. It's actually a really good story. It just sucks that I, I spent a few days in between this game to kind of forget a few things, but... It's a little hard to follow, but I, I do kind of get the, the whole point. Uh, but yeah, we're... We're going to see the credits at the very end, so we're just going to see what the ending of this is. Mobius Strip. Someday history might repeat. Oh, shit. Oh, no. That's true. I did think of that. All right. Well, there's still more playthrough to go on. So yeah, that was not a good ending. Even though this is technically a good ending, this is not the best. But we're going to check out the other ending, ending 3, and then we're going to get the good ending. So I hope you guys enjoyed the playthrough so far, and I will see you in the next video. Peace out.